and now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for November 18th. Nothing is active yet again in terms of named systems on day 322 of the year, otherwise known as November 18th, 2021, meaning that we are still at 87 storms that have formed so far this year, and we are still 5 storms away from the yearly average of 92 storms per year. Day 170 of hurricane season in the Atlantic, the no storms active graphic is up yet again as there is no activity expected here within the next 5 days. Now I said this before and I'll say it again, hopefully the Atlantic season is over and done with up until next year. Day 186 of hurricane season over in the Eastern Pacific and it's a similar story to the Atlantic. It is also quiet here yet again. No storms are active in this part of the world. Over in the Western Pacific it is also fairly quiet here yet again. No storms are active here in this part of the world. However, it's a different story over in the North Indian Ocean. We will start with 92B in the Bay of Bengal, which has pretty much made a comeback as we are giving this now a 70% chance of formation up from zero from last night as there was a tropical cyclone formation alert issued by the JTWC for this system uh, today, I believe. Uh, 93A is also present in the Arabian Sea, but it remains with a 10% chance of formation, which is no change from last night's bulletin. Over in the South Indian Ocean, we have designated a new area of interest here with a, another 10% chance of formation. Uh, we will keep an eye on this system and its developments as it progresses. The area of interest that was present here in the Australian region has diminished in chances and thus we have dropped it from the map. And yet again, nothing is active here in the South Pacific Ocean, which is to be expected for this time of year. Looking at the satellite imagery for the Atlantic, yet again there really isn't much to report here apart from the odd thunderstorm activity ongoing in various parts of the basin. The East Pacific is still fairly quiet with yet again not a lot of activity of any kind going on here. There's a bit of thunderstorm activity associated with a swell towards the, cent the center left of your screen right there. The West Pacific is also fairly quiet as far as I can tell. Once again, not a lot of activity is present uh, here apart from, well, quite a bit of cloud cover, but there's not, again, nothing, to, nothing interesting to note in this part of the world. Uh, 92B has made a resurgence in the North Indian Ocean with a 70% chance of formation in the Bay of Bengal. Uh, 93A still remains with a fairly low chance of formation, that being 10% over in the Arabian Sea in the next 5 days. The 10% area of interest shown here really is part of the Southwest Indian Ocean, but nonetheless it is still an area of interest and we have given it a 10% chance of formation in 5 days. Now closer to Australia, yet again, there really is nothing to report. The South Pacific still remains devoid of any tropical activity. Uh, today there appears to be a few frontal systems that are active in this part of the world. We're on to the sea surface temperatures now with the West Pacific still remaining largely 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, the Bay of Bengal registering 28 to 29 degrees and that currently is where 92B resides. 
the tropical Atlantic is still remaining at roughly around 28 degrees. The Gulf of Mexico still remains with temperatures of what appear to be the low 20s uh, along the coastline of the United States. The tropical Eastern Pacific is registering around 27, the Central Pacific with 28. And as I keep saying, the South Southern Hemisphere is warming up with just off the coast of Australia's Northern Territory and by extension, west, the North Coast of Western Australia, reaching temperatures of 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. Onto the sea surface temperature anomalies, the eastern and central Pacific remains cooler than average, but the west coast of Mexico is above average. The La Nina still remains in full swing. The Atlantic is pretty much above average as per usual. The West Pacific also remains largely warmer than average. The Bay of Bengal is also above average. The Arabian Sea is mostly above average with a large pocket of below average just off the southern tip of India. And the, the Southern Pacific remains half above and half below average. On this day brings us back to 2003, where we had Typhoon Nepartak, which was just off the coast of Hainan, peaking as a Category 1 equivalent typhoon. Also active on this day today was Tropical Depression 26W, soon to be named Lupit in the West Pacific and a much weakened tropical depression Benny which was coming off of its peak but it wasn't quite done yet in the southwest Indian Ocean. And that brings us to the naming lists up next in the Atlantic starts us off with the auxiliary list with Adria followed by Braylon. Up next in the Eastern Pacific is Vivian followed by Waldo. And in the Central Pacific, you really do not need me to say this again, next up is Hone. Up next in the West Pacific on list 4 remains Nieto followed by Rai. Up next in the North Indian Ocean, we could be seeing Jawad fairly soon followed by Asani. First up in the Australian region for the 2021-22 season is Paddy followed by Ruby. First up in the Southwest Indian is Anna, followed by Batsirai. And up next in the South Pacific is Cody, followed by Dovi. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.